In this video, we're going to look at how to eliminate this interaction on a title block where you have to toggle on a grid in order to move viewports around. So if I hit move, we'll see that now I can snap to a way better way that's like this. So if I were to now move this view, we'll notice that we have little references throughout our title block. If that sounds interesting, check out the rest of this video. Alright, so we're just in a standard template. Uh, this is, I think, the Imperial template when I did File New. I am in Revit 2019 for this, and that's because I wanted to illustrate that this works all the way back in 2019. When I first found this out, it was actually all the way back in Revit 2015, I believe. So this is a, a kind of a tweak that's worked for quite a while. So generally for a title block family, we will embed grids with a grid visibility parameter. I typically use a type parameter so I can control them on a whole project level and we can turn that grid on and off. Inside of our title block family, we have then lines assigned to a visibility parameter and so on. And when those are on, if I just do a detail line, we can see that we can snap to them. So they have to be on for that. So we'll see that we can snap to those grids. Pretty good. That's how most people do it. Uh, but there's a way better way. So if I were to edit this title block, we can see that if I go to the Create tab, I'll notice that I have options to create lines, masking regions, filled regions, and so on. There isn't a portion in here to create reference planes. Uh, there are reference lines, which are fine. So if I were to create a reference line, I'll just create it very obvious. We'll see that that does snap. That's pretty good. Reference lines are really nice in that way. I do have to draw that across the whole title block to get that reference. So if I were to go back into the title block and make this smaller, that way it's not clashing with the whole title block family. I will see that I only get the snap where that thing occurs. That's really useful for placing things in that margin area. That's all right, not the best situation. Uh, reference planes allow you to snap to the whole width of a family. So in Revit with families, reference planes encompass the whole geometry of that family. However, once again, I can't create reference planes in the ribbon. You can't even do it in the API. So Dynamo or the Revit API can't create reference planes in a family that doesn't support it. However, I found this while working on templates quite a while back. I actually presented this in my Autodesk University course for flexible families. I'll link that below if you want to check it out. But while working in view title family, so if we are in a standard template under annotation symbols, we can navigate down to view title and we can edit this family. So I'll right click and click edit. If we go to visibility graphics and we turn on the reference plane, we will see that a control drag copy works in this family. I can't do create similar because I'll get an error. Even under the create tab, I don't have reference planes available, but a control copy does work. Adding on to that, if I were to hit control C on my keyboard, I can now copy those reference planes from that view title family to this title block family. And now if I were to reload this into my project with just that crosshair right there, and we'll say overwrite, and I were to create a detail line family, we'll see that those lines go out from that origin infinitely, or at least to the margins of the title block. So that's really cool. We are able to embed those. So if I were to toggle to this better method and click on detail line, we'll see that I get those little crosshairs as I work my way around the family. Really cool. This is great for when you're laying out like a viewport and you can actually start to snap to those crosshairs now. So if I were to snap that right there, that's right at that grid intersection. You can even add reference lines in between if you want for incremental snaps. So in the data set, I'll link it below. All the sample files are included. I actually have reference planes 
placed around this title block at those lines. So that way we get that snapping interaction. So a really quick tip with the pure Revit tip, this has nothing to do with the API or Dynamo, but it's just something I stumbled upon a few years ago regarding copying a reference plane between families. Really useful thing to do. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you use it on annotation families that are in a view that scale, you will get some weird scaling things because reference planes are kind of unitless in a way. Kind of an interesting thing. But yeah, I thought I would share this. I was working on a title block the other day for something and I remembered this trick. So I thought it'd make for a cool video. Let me know down below if you were going to use this for anything. What other ideas do you have for it? And other than that, thanks for checking out this video and stay tuned for more. Thank you.